Hello friends. Welcome to Stitch Max demonstration part A. Earlier we saw the features, effects and some punching methods. Now we see some more advanced tools. Here we first draw a line and using a dual bezier tool we draw any object. If you are making an object and the continuity breaks then we use an advanced command. We have to go to the append tool of reshape mode. Using this you can continue to draw the object from the last point. This will construct a complete object. We can use the append option even with the closed objects drawn with dual bezier tool and continue from the last entry. This is the append tool which can be used for any fill and continue a broken object. The next is close on close object. This is most useful for chain or dori work. Here we are making a sample object in which we select plasma fill which we have seen earlier to be useful for chain and dori work. If we have to draw a new object alongside the previous object there can be a problem in matching the boundary. To solve this we use close on close object option. This option matches the open boundary of the new objects with the existing boundary of the previous object. You can give the same fill types to these objects by changing their properties. If you want to skip the first boundary since it is overlapping then we can check the option of skip first boundary. This design is usually used in making garments such as for designs of the choli. Here we use a ready design which has already been punched over which we lay the design of the garment or here choli. If you have your drawing firm or ready then lay it over the design then we make it as crop fill type. We group the two for more and the design and use the bound sides feature. This will crop the design from according to the boundary of the fermo. And this is the final result. In this feature the punching is also not damaged. This feature also eases the process of designing garments based on the fermo. Next feature that we see is the add space lines. This feature is such that if you have an object as we have here a rectangle with tatami fill.
its properties are set such that the stitch spacing 6 mm and direction in a cross angle then we use the add space line option using which we can add lines in the tatami fill these lines are individual and not any fill type we the line designed ready according to tatami fill stitch spacing and the line direction since this is just a drawing we convert it into line fill and we can give it color due to the line fill the lines are now connected in a zigzag manner now if you have any ready object or any drawing lay on the line spacing and adjust its size following this we use the crop option to crop the lines aligning to the boundaries of the object the remaining lines are cut which can be now selected within this you can change the required properties of the line stitches for example here we apply a stamp stitch of stitch height 2.5 mm and apply all the properties of stamp stitch now you can see that according to the lines the design has been converted to stamp stitch and if you play the direction of movement is linear there is no need for punching so now you can make different objects using the add space line feature further we see the feature beads beads feature is one of the best feature and a powerful tool of this software beads is usually used for hanging designs and thus we apply the hang and sequence style from this properties you can select and give different shapes and colors to the beads You can also adjust this diameter and height. You can see how beautifully the beads get arranged. Using this feature, you can also make multicolor designs. For example, here we have a ready object with multiple colored beads. These are three colored beads applied on a single layer there are multiple examples of multicolored beads using which you can make beautiful designs out of beads so these are some of the advanced features and we will see more in the series of youtube videos so please stay tuned thank you